Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today we are talking wireless video and what is it, why you would want it, and how to get it. So when you start out in film, you're almost always everything. You're the camera person, the art director, the producer, uh, the finance person, the accounting department. You kind of do it all. And that's how I started. That's a great way to get into the business because it means that you're learning every job or doing it well enough so that later on when you employ people to do that for you, then you're, you know what they're supposed to be doing. But pretty soon you work on bigger projects where you have either multiple cameras or too many moving pieces or you sort of reach the limit of what you can do as one person and you start bringing in other crew members. Sometimes a cinematographer, sometimes an assistant, sometimes a producer, basically to help you get through whatever you are shooting. Often the first step is a second camera person or a camera person so that you can concentrate on the talent. Um, and this means you sort of end up hovering behind uh, the camera person looking over their shoulder at the monitor. And this isn't ideal. I did this for years and really hated it. It means that you very often miss really critical details. Um, you're not focused on the screen, you're not focused on the frame or the performance or the reality of what it is that you're recording. And very often you get back to you know, your studio and you start editing and you think, oh, it's not in focus or this isn't the way that I wanted it and I couldn't really see it on the day. Um, and you really wish you had either shot it yourself or had some way to see the vision of it. Enter wireless video. This is a little unit called the transmitter that sits on the camera, another little unit, the receiver that sits on a monitor somewhere. And it means that while someone's shooting your film, you can sit there in a chair or, or watching on a big screen to see what it is that's been recorded, see what it is that the audience is gonna see. For a long time, uh, Teradek uh, held all the key patents and had a pretty much monopoly on this uh, technology. Um, they had the Bolt, the Bolt 4K. Uh, I have actually uh, a Bolt system that I've used and really love for quite a number of years now. But you're starting at around two and a half thousand dollars, going all the way up to you know eight, nine, ten thousand dollars for a system. So it really was reserved for you know people working on hundred thousand dollar plus budgets. And that's a pity because it's such a great resource as a filmmaker, not just for you, the director, to see what the camera's shooting, but if you're the person who's shooting, it's great to have other people, the client, your producer, other people who are part of the project to see the image as it's been recorded and sign off on it and say, oh yeah, that's how we wanted that person to put down the cup or that's how we wanted the car to look. So you don't get into the terrible position of having shot the video, send it to the client or whoever is right, signing off on it and having them say, this isn't what I wanted at all. That is the nightmare. Then you end up reshooting it at your expense, it creates all sorts of problems. So having wireless video and allowing the stakeholders to see how the project is coming together and sign off on it is really, really critical. For a couple of years now, Hollyland, a Chinese company, has been releasing much cheaper versions of the wireless video system. The latest one they sent me is the Cosmo C1. Uh, and it's just a little bit bigger than a pack of cards in both the receiver and the transmitter, which is new. Usually the transmitter is pretty small, but the receiver is kind of chunky. Now these units are similar to a lot of the other stuff that's uh, on the market, uh, but with some important differences. They have HDMI in um, and SDI in and SDI out, so you can loop your video into this unit and then out to a monitor on the camera or out to another um, display. The thing that I really like about these particular units is that you can charge them through uh, DTAP or you can use USB, um, any five volt USB. That means that I can attach this to the back of my V-mount battery and not use a DTAP from the camera or from the battery, but instead use the USB port. I can attach it or uh, bongo tie it straight to the back of my V-mount, run my video through it, and then out again to the camera without having to ha have extra cables or extra power. You can charge them um, with a NP battery as well, but I'd rather one battery run the whole system um, of my camera and on the receiver so that I'm not having to keep track of multiple different batteries. But the fact that there's three ways to power this thing I think is great. Another important consideration for wireless video is latency, meaning how quickly does the video from the camera uh, show up on the screen of the receiver. Now, uh, some of the Canon cameras, um, the C200, uh, the R5, actually do have an inbuilt Wi-Fi 
transmitter, but these are really fiddly. They're about a second behind. So if someone's trying to pull focus from the uh, Wi-Fi transmission of the camera, they're gonna be, you know, by the time they've pulled focus, the focus has already changed. These are near zero latency. So I think 14 hundredths of a second, which is easily enough to pull focus from. They also transmit uh, up to a thousand feet. You'll actually get less than that if you're going around corners and through walls, but a thousand feet is sufficient for almost every application unless you're uh, trying to go between moving vehicles on a freeway or something like that. They're pretty great build quality. They're all metal um, enclosure. They have lots of mounting points. I put my uh, quick release on the bottom, but you can also do them on the back here. This kit is gonna retail for $899 US, which is a pretty great price for a fully featured remote video solution. Something I have done a little bit recently on multiple camera shoots is be the person who's operating the A camera and have the receiver on my camera that's um, receiving the video from the B camera and have that on a second screen so I can see what the shot is of the other shooter. This is great for BTS or any other training video um, or educational content that I film. So I actually see what the second shooter is shooting as I'm shooting the main unit. They come with this cool little uh, hard case for storage and transport and you know, all in all, I think this is a pretty cool deal for under a thousand bucks. If you're interested in more videos about gear and filmmaking and running a film company, check out canonmasterclass.com. I have a ton of tutorials, including a C70, R5, uh, C200 masterclass, as well as a heap of content on lighting, gear, building a production company, finding clients, crafting a social media strategy, and everything in between. You can find links to the products I talk about in the description of this video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.